Sex means love. It means giving. It often means motherhood. Sex is great. It's a driving, biologically impelled force. Sex is marvelous. It is, it, it is the great force. sex revolution among the attitudes and the behavior of the young people. I think that uh, boys and girls are both uh, uh, engaging in the sexual activity at a rate never before known in the history of mankind. It seems to me that the teenagers today are using sex. The girls are using it in order to get the sort of pleasures that they want, dates and so on. The boys seem to be using it in order to establish their virility. Uh, I don't know how much there is that's real impulse, a real drive. I'm concerned because um, there seems to be a decline in the moral standards. Uh, a great many teenagers don't think anything of going all the way anymore. Sometimes uh, watching them, it seems to me that they're very sad and guilt-ridden and fear-ridden. I think that they're having much less guilt about engaging in sex relations, such as petting and premarital intercourse. Hey, you see who's here? Hey? You see who's here? No, who? I think that the taboo on sex mainly is historical. It goes back to ancient times and completely different kinds of societies than which we live in today, and that we have vested socioeconomic interests in not changing these taboos. Oh, hello, Peter. Yeah, yeah, I got home around six. I think she's very wise to feel that the person with whom she enters into an intimate relation is going to become a part of her in an extremely subtle sort of way. Uh, and that um, it, it, it's wisdom to make a choice about the conditions and the circumstances and the continuity of it. Yeah, I'd like to. I think that girls should realize often uh, when they entertain thoughts of a sexual relationship with a 17 or 18 year old boy. They should know that the boy isn't thinking of this sexual thing in the same terms that they are thinking of it in. Okay, I'll be ready then. See you. Bye, Peter. I think the men and women are biologically different. They're not exactly the same. And as the French saying goes, vive la différence. <laughs> tu as été magnifique. Elle n'a presque pas paru, tu sais. <laughs>
tu les détestes, hein? Archambault m'avait prévenu. Il m'avait dit... C'est un drôle de type, tu verras. Il ne parle jamais de rien. Et dès qu'il ouvre la bouche, on dirait que ça fait dix ans qu'il a attendu pour dire ce qu'il avait à dire. Je ne l'ai jamais vraiment embrassé. Une morsure pour chaque humiliation. Pour chacune des questions. In from my dog. Look at all the people. And now I wear my apron high. He goes right by my door and passes by wide and deep. My grave shall be with the wild goose grasses growing over me. I think I like it here with all those people. Would you rather go somewhere else? No, no, it's okay. Have a cigarette. Sex belongs in marriage. This is what it's for. I would recommend the teenagers be encouraged to pet to climax. And I'd be inclined to say, look, my dear, if you don't have to, don't. Hey! Sex without a good spiritual and emotional relationship is just like sneezing. It's just something that you get over with. But it doesn't mean anything. There is no evidence whatsoever that people who do experiment sexually have miserable sex or love lives later on. I would hope that youngsters would have a clear enough idea of what was necessary in order to establish a good, joyous, uh, rewarding sexual relationship that they would postpone it. I think there's something in sublimation. I would like to see sex portrayed as a good thing, not nasty or wicked or evil, and therefore made to seem very enticing. Are you going? I don't know. I don't think it's right. And besides, my parents wouldn't approve. Look, this is your decision. It has nothing to do with your parents. I know. It's just I'm a little bit afraid. There's this problem of clumsiness. The girl doesn't know uh, quite what to do or how to do, or the boy doesn't know quite what or how to do. What happens if it's terrible? I've done it. I'm all right. I just feel he wouldn't respect me afterwards. Don't be silly. Peter really loves you.
I don't know if it is as important for a boy to be virtuous until a, a marriage, but I would not like the idea of thinking that my husband has been around uh, a great, great deal before I married him. The double standard of sex morality is fortunately disappearing. It's the boy's responsibility, the girl's responsibility. society, uh, there's a great deal of guilt, and there's a great deal of fear, and there's a great deal of unsatisfied desire. There was a time, of course, I think, in the history of European society, when every young man got his experience from the mature woman. Uh, you, you got an immature boy and an immature girl, and uh, you're almost bound to get a rather stultifying relationship. We'd better let them know that a very good thing that they can do, and that they can do it without any harm whatsoever to themselves, and with almost any frequency they personally prefer, is masturbation. It seems to be so common, so natural, that I don't think we can say it's wrong, but I think we'd have to admit it's fairly unsatisfactory. Sex is supposed to have a purpose. It's supposed to say something. It's supposed to say, I love you, therefore I am giving myself to you, and only to you. This is very special. I wouldn't so much ever advocate sex relations before marriage for anybody as allow them to select it if they want to do so. Well, sex, of course, is only one part of the individual, and uh, sexual relationship demands a great deal of maturity, sensitivity, unselfishness, willingness to accept responsibility, which at the age of puberty, most children don't have. I don't know. for hot chocolate. Hot enough. Can I have some? Sure. Oh, Mr. Did it again. Forgot to wash behind your ears, I see. Do I pass your inspection? Yes, you do. I say, have something to do. Keep busy. Go to a movie, go to a lecture, go to an art museum, go to a play, go to a party, go bowling, go bicycling, go walking, uh, talking. This is great. And it's cheap. It's free. Uh, have something to do. Don't just go out in some lonely road and park. Thank 
they seem to be having a good time. Excuse me. Well, who are you? What are you doing here? Uh, he, he's a friend of mine. Will you please leave? It's not that important. Why don't you forget about it? Your mother will never find out anyway. Rolling all over our sofa. I, I, God knows how far they would have gone if we hadn't come home. Well, I didn't think that much. Nobody's in? No, there isn't. Come. What are your parents? I don't know. They probably went out. Accept your sexuality. Then realize the power of it. And don't let it carry you away. Be in control of the situation. Don't uh, get yourself into a spot from which there may be no retreat. Uh, accept the fact that the sex drive next to the uh, drive for survival is the most potent, the strongest drive in every human being, and every normal human being has it. So learn how to handle it. Learn how to live with it. Make this drive a productive, a useful, a beautiful, a wisely handled thing. And don't play games with it, because if you do, you will lose. I would like to see them really stop and think for themselves and ask themselves why they should or should not have intercourse or any other kind of sex relations before marriage, not because their parents or other authorities told them not to, but because they can figure out for themselves the advantages and individual disadvantages 
in each of their particular cases. The only thing I think I would try to say is that human beings have a choice. And this perhaps an, uh, an intellectual choice is what differentiates them from the rest of the animal species. So make your choice. Choose under the best circumstances that you can. Choose your mate. And then I would just sit back and hope for the best for them. And hope, I think, is the one four-letter word that uh, we're entitled to use in this context. Okay, I'm cold. Guilt written, fear written, prestige seeking. Well, where should I draw the line? What's wrong? What's right? Sex can be harmlessly engaged. I think there's a great deal of hypocrisy. I'll try to mirror it. Sex is wrong. Sex to tea. Sex and I think this is a great thing. Not a matter of many serious behavior. I believe it. Through the night, and I give you this song. 